Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm with creator Nick Santora and star David Castaneda, and we are talking their show, Most Dangerous Game. Let's take a first look. Beautiful day for a game. I give you Victor Zuero. Move your feet, move your feet! He will provide a level of competition we've never seen before. So you are going to get me my money with your little boxing match. I'm gonna get you the money, okay? I don't get out or your beautiful little sister Josie suffers. Roku came to the rescue and they came in and not only did they buy season one and start airing it and letting a whole new group of fans and a whole new section of the world see it, they said, may we please have a season two, to which my answer was an emphatic yes. And now um, on Friday the 10th, we're going to get, you know, it's free on Roku. Anyone can watch it. I did have an opportunity to watch it on Roku um, when um, once I jumped on board, actually, I was like, OK, and I saw it. And a part of me was like, oh, should I had seen it before I said yes? Because I had just said yes, because Christoph and Nick and I had a meeting with him and I was like, yeah, for sure. And then I was like, oh, I should watch it now, I guess. And I was just hoping that I was like, oh my God, I hope I made the right decision. And th thankfully it was like, oh, this is really good. Like, this is actually like a fun ride. And so I was just, yeah, I was just like, well, how do I put my spin on this, on this thing, you know, which is because it's already established. It's like, how do I find my own footing? I was wondering, like, you know, because you have done, you know, these other shows in traditional formats and everything. This one, do you kind of change up the way when you sit down in terms of writing it because of the way that it's delivered? No, it changes how you do it. Um, I I have boards up in my office where I'll, I, you know, I have these magnetic boards and I have these magnetic strips that you can write on and move them around. And I now will have 10 or 12 of them for 10 to 12 mini episodes. And then I just look at them and I go, all right, an episode, no matter how long it is, I don't care if it's 30 seconds, it has to have a beginning, a middle and an end. So it's 10 minutes, 12 minutes, whatever. So I have to have about three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. I have to set it up. I have to build it. And then I have to crescendo with a big twist or a big cliffhanger or something. So people will go, click, play the next one, click, play the next one. So you just treat them like a three act structure. It's just that each act is really fast. So if you watch most dangerous game, there's no filler. Right. There's nothing. It's just run, 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 run. I mean, you hit the ground sprinting and then two hours later it's over and you never have any filler. There's no fat on that bone. You know, there's nothing to cut off. I mean, in, in a certain way, I mean, every day it's, you're sort of trying to read the signs and like you, you, you're sort of trying to modify yourself to make sure like, how do I make sure that I don't get tired by midday, you know, with it, depending on what the scene is. And, um, and also who's in front of me, like who, who am I fighting? Who, you know, who's, who's the actor? And, and they obviously every person that they brought in, I mean, they were all, you know, a grade A class. Um, it was very fun to work with all of the assassins. Um, you know, obviously, Christoph and Anna, you know, we got to meet once and she was lovely. Um, but, it, you know, in, in the overall kind of perspective of like doing this thing, I, I felt like I was a kid in the candy store every day, you know, miserable at times when I was doing something so physical. But it was it was worth it. You know, it was worth it. I read up on you a little bit. That's how I knew that I could help you. What is this? in its purest form, a hunt to kill. Christoph Waltz, I mean, two-time Oscar winner. You get to set. Are you nervous? I mean, when, A, I can just bring the reality of that moment to the scene. Like, that's all I can do, right? So this, it really worked very well because of how much I respect him and how much I feel like he has, he's like a tool, a, a craftsman of all of, of the art that, when I shook his hand in the scene, that was me shaking Christoph Waltz's hand. Like that wasn't like Victor shaking so-and-so. Like that was genuinely me being like, I am so grateful. I wrote a three page scene for Christoph Waltz where he talks nonstop for minutes on end. 
And if I didn't know who was going to be playing that character, I would not write a scene like that. But I know it's Christoph Waltz. And it's like having, you know, if your handyman is Paul Bunyan, well, then I'm going to put 4,000 pounds on that pallet because I know he can pick it up. And I gave Christoph Waltz essentially 4,000 pounds of words because I know he can pick it up. The show is Most Dangerous Game. You can find it streaming now on the Roku channel. Underdogs sometimes win. Remember that. Welcome to the big leagues. You're sick? No. I'm just managing a game.